sometimes, you know, our health uh, falls through until we lose it. We we take it for granted, and that's that's the business I'm in, helping people get healthy, very healthy, in the easiest, uh, most convenient, and and uh, most uh, I guess it, it's it's the most um, most affordable way as w- as well. I mean, uh, pound for pound, sea vegetation is is by far the most powerful food on the entire planet Earth, and a little bit of it each day goes a long way. Mother uh, was uh, diagnosed with multiple sclerosis when she was pregnant for me back in '56, and um, in, in 1983 we had moved to Austin, Texas. Our family had emigrated, some of the kids, and we moved toward the sun. And uh, I uh, I found out about these seaweed pills, uh, kind of on a lark. I was talking to a woman about something else, unrelated, and she she said you should have your eyes red. You have brown mucus around your eyes, and I thought that was brown coloring in my blue eyes. Here I was 27, she said, oh no, that's mucus, and I thought, you know, I was allergic to milk when I was born, and my mother had MS, and I had to drink soybean milk, so um, they said, if you take these seaweed pills made by a company from 1932, and that's where I began to learn everything uh, after this, I got it for my mother, I didn't believe it, you know, what they were saying, all that new age stuff, and, and so my mother's MS, she had numbness in her hands and her feet, she, and when she got tired, she would fall down, and here she was raising the children, and, and, uh, and so she had to sleep every day, and we would tiptoe around the house. Well, her numbness in her, in her hands and feet went away in 90 days, <clears throat> and she never had another attack. 17 years later, in the year 2000, my two brothers and my father, um, they said she was probably misdiagnosed. Misdiagnosed, yes, because green pills, green seaweed pills, could not have could not have put her MS in remission. She had to be misdiagnosed, so they, they urged her to take her medical records, which she did that to, to, to please my brothers. And um, Not only was she diagnosed correctly, but this was with a new neurologist. They had MRIs in the year 2000. This was 17 years later. She never had another attack. And the neurologist said, not only were you diagnosed correctly, you fell over, your, your eye was over in the right side of your head, you were talking like you were drunk in the middle of the day, and you couldn't use the whole right side of your body for a week. Um, but uh, there's no, been no new demyelinization since 1983. So she's in clinical remission because of some seaweed pills, and I took the seaweed pills to a neurologist, and he wasn't interested. The doctor didn't want to know, so I began to study. Well, why wouldn't he want to know? And in my study of the medical establishment, I was very naive back then, I, uh, I, I determined and I found out that eight drug companies were also making 95% of the compounds found in mainstream vitamins under 350 different labels, including Nature Made. And so now the drug companies were making the, the vitamins, and you know, the FDA had no definition for natural, so that anybody could call it natural and solar this and country that and life this and life that and beautiful cherries and trees on the labels. And, uh, and they're all synthetic, made from oil and made from uh, coal tar, which is a derivative of oil, which all the synthetic chemicals, 140,000 of them, are, have been made since 1930. And so I realized that, well, if the drug companies are making the drugs when you're sick, and the drug companies are making the vitamins when you're not sick, and they're acidic, and they have no food value, and they're dead compounds, and they've tricked the American people and all the people in the world thinking they're getting nutrition, nobody's ever asked because our parents were naive, better living through chemistry. Obviously, look around, it's not true today. But nobody's still asking, but I knew, and I asked back then. So I stopped taking multiples, and I began studying seaweed, and I said, everybody's going to buy seaweed pills, and I began looking into sea vegetation and learning all about it. And uh, it's 30 years ago now, and people are just now listening. So these capsules that I bring the seaweed in from other countries and we test it and it's all very clean and, and milled because I have a Dr. Cron over in Ireland, a PhD in marine botany is my not only my, my scientific advisor but he's a 10% partner in our company and he knows everyone globally where we can get the sea vegetation, the species we want, the colors we want, the cleanliness we want and uh, at the price we want. So we import seaweed by the ton, we bring it in Arizona, we blend it in different, uh, we blend it to a proprietary blend, and these are all powdered into vegetable capsules uh, for your consumption. We import it, we have a liability policy, we have a $2 million liability policy in 13 years, 
since we've had it in this blend, we have not had one, I mean zero, claims against our insurance policy. We have no adverse effects to report to the FDA, and uh, all our seaweed is tested before we even accept it in. It has to come with a C of A, a certificate of analysis for microbiology, that's salmonella and E. coli, and also heavy metals, and that's uh, cadmium, lead, uh, mercury. And then we bring it in and we blend all these different species. And that's the same with any nutritional company. They have to have a C of A before they accept the raw material into their manufacturing facility. Uh, and then, but we test it after we blend all the seaweeds. We test it because we want to test the iodine content so we know what's suggested serving. I take eight times the suggested serving. Why? So do the Japanese. I'm trying to eat enough seaweed like the Japanese eat to just, to just test myself. Don't do anything else. Live the way I want. I mean, I don't, I, I do everything I can, but I don't, I'm not a militant when it comes to all these different disciplines. But I don't miss my sea veg every day, and it's it's borne out. It's been proven on my body. So I put it in my body, my son's body, my mother's body, my friends and family, and it is it is an unchanged. It's never heated, and it's it's milled uh, and, and air dried. It's never above 110, 112, and uh, so the cell wall is never broken. And uh, you know, don't ask a doctor or some layperson about seaweed. They'll say, "Oh, it, could, it, has, it has heavy metals. Oh, uh, bodies can't d d d break it down. Uh, you know, only the Japanese can break it down. It's all mess. The truth is, it's, most, it's the most powerful food in the world. And if you eat it every day, it'll prove itself to you." your body gets seaweed, when your cells begin to eat seaweed every day and the iodine and the minerals and everything else that's in it, unchanged, not heated, and brought to you live, you change profoundly, especially women, because women, their entire endocrine system is uh, controlled by their thyroid, and the thyroid needs iodine, and I mean vegetable iodine, just like our bodies need everything vegetable, organic. And, uh, and then when you're, and, and we're not getting any, because there's no vegetable iodine in the food supply in America. It's hard to change your lifestyle and your diet. I, t I don't tell people to change their diet, quit smoking, exercise more. Why? Because they already know that. Everybody's telling them that. If it were easy, if it were, if it were easy for me to do, I would do it. But what I did as a bachelor back then at 27, because of what it did for my mother, I just started taking it. And it literally changed me at, at that age. It changed the energy I had. It changed my cravings. It changed my, my, my whole body in a way that, that you know, I fought. And now I, I still don't eat perfectly right, but I never miss a day. And it, and it has taken me to a level of health that I haven't had, been sick for. Now it'll be 20 years this year in September, and I have, my blood is perfect all the time. And I don't really watch anything I eat. I just move toward healthier foods. Our blend is the best, the most prolific, most powerful blend of seed plants in the Western Hemisphere th today. I mean, there's never been these plants have never been in the same country. Now they're in the same capsule, and I, I wanted to do that because if anybody wanted to compete with me, I wanted to set the bar so high they'd have to meet or exceed what what, what I was doing. Seaweed does two things that are amazing. It detoxifies or removes heavy metals because it just binds with them and removes them. And it strengthens your cells, which want to remove toxins and anything foreign in and of themselves. And it's got that vegetable iodine. So those, those two things, uh, the malnutrition and toxicity, are the, are the bane of the Western hemisphere and the Western diet. And the two things doctors do not address, toxicity or malnutrition. I really do believe that, um, you know, people have been eating seaweed for centuries, and they've been getting better. And you know, even in 3000 BC in, in, in China, the father of medicine says uh, that all those desiring a long life. So did Confucius. And 600 BC in, in Japan, uh, species used in everyday cookery in Japan, some algae or delicacy fit for the most honored guest, for the king himself. The solution is seaweed. 
The solution is iodine. The solution is minerals. The solution is sterols. The solution is what food has the most nutrition in it per ounce. And, and, and 60 to 70, 80 times the density, that's sea plants. You don't have to eat a lot of it. The Japanese do not eat a lot of it. They just eat it every day. And I've brought it in a way that you can do the same thing. There's regeneration that occurs when you eat seaweed and good living foods. But, but living foods are not. Without the iodine that controls the thyroid, which controls metabolism and is the master gland, you're never going to be as healthy as you can be. And seaweed's the only place where you can find organic vegetable iodine. Seaweed lives off of light. It has no root. It grows two feet a day. That's six feet in three days. If you have a land plant, house plant, and you look over every day or every hour, and that thing is growing, you know, four or six inches every, every two or three hours, and then after three days, it's six feet tall, and these plants have no root, and they're living off light, that's light energy, that's energy, that's right one step down from the sun, and the closer we eat to the beginning of the food chain, which is the sun, the healthier we'll be, so you don't need a lot of it, you just need it, it needs to be whole, and the different colors, and that's what we have. Sensitivity means you're healthy. That means you're symptomatic. That means your symptoms are working. The idiot light comes on and says, check engine oil. Oh, I went to my doctor. He clipped the light. He clipped the, he took the fuse out so the light didn't work. Right. And that's what they do. They clip the light, and then, you know, if the engine blows, they've got a prosthesis for you, a tourniquet that never comes off. Let's just leave it on, and then when your arm falls off, we'll get a fake one for you. So it's, the truth is, people that are sensitive, fibromyalgia and other arm, they're, they're actually more sensitive than most most people and they and and the doctors come in and and they say there's something wrong with you there's something wrong with my mother's immune system there's something wrong with your thyroid there's something wrong with your life that you're depressed there's something wrong with you your blood you know and you know what there's nothing wrong with you there's something wrong with the world there's something wrong with chemicals and toxicity 140,000 synthetic chemicals uh, over a hundred carcinogenic chemicals on the list uh, in our environment, air and water, on the CDC's website. So when they accuse you, your mother's body, or your my mother's body, or immune system, or you know something wrong with it, we need to suppress it, or there's something wrong with your thyroid. When they do that, that's that's why I say that's the worst kind of evil because it's, they're saying there's something wrong with you, and it's really the the world or chemicals or something in the environment that, that really is the problem. Otherwise, we'd be perfect, uh, balanced, and uh, human beings with perfect homeostasis, which is what the Japanese enjoy with their seaweed, despite their smoking and, and eating no fruits and that type of thing. So we've seen it work. Seaweed every day keeps the doctor away. My dad... He's 84 years old up in Rochester, and he says, Scott, I, I, I've had a cold, one or two colds a year for, for 80 years since he can remember. He's from New York City, and, and uh, he was on the sea veg, uh, he's been out three years. He hasn't had a cold in three years. Now, I've been doing this 30 years. Why has he only been on it three years? Because he didn't believe me until he saw me on television. Right. He had to see me on television. <laughs> My own father. Right. And he's got, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's got a degree in health and phys ed, and he met my mother at Brockport, upstate New York. They both had health and phys ed degrees. I mean, these are two healthy people, educated. My mother, one or two percent of American women with a degree in 1948. Boom. And, and, and see, I'm, I've healed both of them with, with what I've learned because they were products of that establishment. But it's never too late. We, never too late. The minute we get iodine in our bodies every day, iodine, it changes us. So yes, yes, there's nothing the body can't heal itself. If you go on my website, you're going to see some amazing testimonials. One pill does all those things. Wait a minute. We're either lying or we have the magic pill, and it's really not magic. It's just seaweed.